Good morning! How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin I'm doing? And you happy too. How y'all living, fam? It is Monday up in this motherfucker. And it is the start of a new week. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I know you guys, by the time you guys see this video, it's going to probably be midweek at least. So hopefully you guys are having a great week. Your girl is uh, over here getting ready to... Um, shoot another couple of videos your girl was in production mode over the weekend okay and when i say i probably shot faux damn videos yes not yesterday saturday i shot four videos saturday then i have two more videos to shoot and some um little snippets that i need to shoot today to add to those videos so collectively probably six videos to shoot total i have been in production mode and i love when i get um when i'm productive and i get things done like i'm supposed to and all that good shit Y'all, this time change done fucked us up. Juice is running to get out of here for work because he did not change the clock that was in our bedroom. Everything else has been changed. Just the one in the bedroom hasn't been changed. And y'all, he was running. I was like, Juice, get your ass up this morning. I was like, come on, let's go. Because I get up so early and I was just sleeping in because I was working all weekend and we went to bed kind of late last night. I have to my back. Y'all, when I say I was waking his ass up like the military, you hear me? Get your ass up. Look. Anyway. He got to work safe and sound, so that's good. Anyway, but uh, yeah, y'all, your girl is um, getting ready to shoot a couple videos. And hold up, let me show you what I'm dealing with because this is part of the reason. Well, first of all, if you guys haven't seen or have, if you guys have noticed, if you if you subscribe to the other channel, The Socialite Life, you guys know I've been doing a lot of first impressions. And because I've been trying out a lot of different makeup, by the way. I lost a nail. Don't ask. It happened yesterday. I was pissed. Whatever. Um, so I got to get that motherfucker fixed. But... Your girl has been testing out a lot of makeup products, which is dope and you know, whatever. I love doing that shit. You guys know I'm obsessed with trying out different makeup. So anyway, um, I've been shooting the first impressions video in my, um, my bedroom at the vanity that's in my bedroom. And the reason for that is because I still haven't been able to get the proper lighting yet. And I actually prefer it in the makeup room. Um, I'm in my, in my vanity area of my makeup room because I feel like it's just, it's more true to real life color versus like all those bright lights in your face where it, those lights almost make you look too perfect, if that makes any sense. Um, and I know that there's a way that I can fix that. So that's what I'm working on now is trying to get it where the lighting is more authentic to what I physically really look like. You know what I mean? Because when your face is beat and your makeup is on, you can look ridiculously flawless but in order for me to do a proper first impression i have to showcase what the what the makeup looks like for real or the lippy looks like for real or whatever the fuck i'm trying on you know what i mean so i actually prefer it in the um in my bedroom for now just because i feel like you can really see if my face is greasy if my face is matte because like i said those lights can really make you look almost airbrushed and i know there's a way that i can fix that and that's what i'm working on now so hold up let me show you what i'm dealing with and what we put together yesterday and i will be doing a video on these so hold up okay so let me go ahead and show you what i've been dealing with in my world over here right Biggest thing for me is to try to get this lighting situation figured out and get it so that my lighting looks more, not natural because it is lighting and there's only so much, so natural you can make the lighting look, especially because these lights are really bright. But what I'm trying to do is get it so that they're more true to what, you know, to real life, right? So anyway, I've been messing with a few lights, one of which you guys already know is my ring light. So that's that right there. You guys already see that. You guys have seen that before, right? Now I'm dealing with these suckers right here. I've got five of these bad boys, either four or five of them. And they're just basically um, what they call soft boxes. And I will be showing you guys in a video separately about all this stuff once I get the setup going and figure out what the best way, how, you know, the best way to set these up is. But it's, it's crazy because it's they're so bright and they're amazing you know what I mean and some of these you can dim and and that type of thing like the ring light you can dim and all that kind of stuff but the biggest thing is I almost look a little bit washed out and so um sometimes I look washed out sometimes I look too perfect and I don't like that because I really want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing so um I just had juice last night put together another box light for me because one of them was one of the ones I was using um I used it actually on my beauty room reveal uh, and I only had the one but now I had him do two because I'm going to try to set them up a little differently. So in some of these videos that you see coming up here shortly I will let you guys know when I've set it up this way or I'll tell you on the, on the vlog but either way once I get it all figured out 
and get it all configured to my liking. I will probably do a video, you know, video for you guys, letting you guys know about the lighting that I got, where I got it from, whether it's worth the money and all that kind of stuff. Because you guys know I've been slowly but surely purchasing my lights over this last, even before I started doing this room, I started slowly but surely buying the lights that I knew I was going to need. So I've had these in my possession for a while. Um, but like I said, I have like four or five of those big ass, of these big ass motherfuckers right here. Bam. So I'll let you guys know. So I don't know. We're going to see. So today we're going to play around a little bit. I am going to be shooting a couple of videos. Um, I'm finishing up a couple of videos today, actually. So I just got too tired. Saturday was a long, long day because I was testing out um, a couple of things, okay? If you guys have not checked out this video, y'all need to because I do not want y'all to go out and buy this product until you see my damn video. It is on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks. If y'all haven't checked out that video, y'all need to. I'm not trying to say... You know, you ain't got to buy them, motherfuckers. But I tested them out. You guys already know I tested out some products this past Saturday when I went to the, ba the baby shower, the second baby shower for Jazz. And I've got some interesting thoughts on those products. And uh, so, yeah, check it out. If I remember to link it, I'll leave it in the description box. But if not, it's on The Socialite Life, which is my other channel you guys already know about. Um, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if any of you guys purchased any of them. But um, I checked that out and then I have another foundation video that's coming out here shortly. So I'll let you guys know when that's up. It may be up by the time you guys see this video right here. And I will let you guys know if it is. But it's on another very, 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 very popular and uber, uber talked about, like ridiculously talked about foundation. Um, and I went ahead and did a first impressions video on that as well, which is why I was doing so much shooting over the weekend. So anyway, so now it's just a matter of trying to figure out like how this is going to work just so you guys can see what they look like. Um, yeah, they're kind of big and you see how much room they take in my beauty room. So I don't necessarily know that I need any more than these two. I'm going to experiment with one setup of lighting and see how it works today and then kind of go from there, kind of play it by ear and see what happens. I'm also going to start using a different camera also. Um, so, uh, we're going to see, it's going to be a transition. So that's why, um, I don't know, it's going to take a transition. So just bear with me for those of you guys that have been watching me on the other channel as I try to get this all figured out, because once I get the, the lighting done, then it's like, okay, bet I can shoot my videos from this point forward this way. It's just, there's always that little transition, I think. And I've watched so many people where they get everything kind of started, get the lights, and it takes them a second to get the audio down and the lighting down, and that's exactly what's gonna probably have to happen for me. The other thing I haven't done in a while is Real Housewives of Atlanta, and yeah, oh, I have been so bogged down with so much stuff, like, and I've been just trying to keep up with my other videos as well, and, there's so many other things that I want to do, like I want to do the challenges with juice and stuff. So um, I will definitely be doing those at some point soon. I definitely want to do it this month. So be on the lookout for that. I think it'd be fun and a nice change, you know, something a little bit different. Um, and those are always fun to watch. So I think it'd be fun to do. Then I have some other segments that you guys know that I haven't done in a while, and I definitely need to do that. There's also another segment that I'm starting that you guys are going to probably already see by the time you guys see this video, if you guys are subscribed to the other channel, is um, I'm doing a segment, and I'm going to call it either Let's, t Let's Talk Boobs or Let's Talk Titties, okay? Now, the whole reason for that whole segment is basically because you guys know... I got some big old titties, okay? I got some tig old bitties, all right? My shit's double D, triple D. And in this whole big titty process, okay, I've had the opportunity to try out a lot of different um, bras and sports bras, and it's just something that I know as a big tittied woman, um, it's difficult to find a bra that you really like. It's difficult to find things that you truly feel comfortable in and that give you the coverage that you need or give you the lift that you need because when you're heavy, when you got some heavy ass titties, it's hard to get that lift, you know what I mean? And so anyway, I actually am starting that this week too. So this from this point forward, every now and again, I'm gonna come in with a Let's Talk Titty video or a Let's Talk Boobs video where I'll showcase a product that I'm, I've been enjoying or not enjoying, something that I've tried and that works or does not work that's for the big tittied women because I know a lot of y'all have asked me to do those types of videos and I definitely want to incorporate that on my channel as well. In addition to the fact that sometime here shortly I will be doing a video showcasing the things and the products that I use to keep my titties up in certain dresses that you guys have seen me wear. So that will definitely be something that um, I definitely want to incorporate on my channel because I know this one thing that I've talked about doing was doing like a whole video on every kind of bra that I've really enjoyed and the thing is when you're big tittied like me I have a tendency to, to try a lot of different things out. And here's the thing that 
and I don't know if any of you guys struggle with this as well, but I'll try a bra out and I'll love it at first and then after it's been worn a little bit, there's things I may not like about it. So I don't wanna do a video like, oh, these are all the best bras on the planet. Then I rock them for a couple months and I'm like, this isn't it. So I'd rather be able to test out a bra or test out a sports bra or test out a whatever the case, undergarment, a body shaper, whatever the case may be, a sports bra and really test that motherfucker out so I can really tell y'all if it works and if it's worth the money. You know what I mean? So that way I can properly review because I ain't trying to have y'all spend your hard earned coin on no shit that's bullshit. You know what I mean? Y'all know. I'm keen on that. I don't play around with that shit. So that is gonna be the new segment. So if that video's up, I'll let you guys know too. I actually was sent a product and I'm gonna see if the shit really does lift your ass up. Okay, it's a, it's a bra that's supposed to kind of give you some lift. It's a little pricey, but it's supposed to give you some lift. So we gonna see. Um, and I'm gonna be testing that out as well. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the Dizzy. We got some things we got to Dizzy. And uh, bro, we gonna see how this day goes. What up, y'all? Yes, the next day, shit. I don't even know what day it is today, for real. But I uh, know that we at the gym. And it's uh, Tuesday up this motherfucker. I think it was yesterday, Monday, when I spoke to y'all last, and that was the last that I vlogged that day. Yesterday was a day full of shooting and editing and the usual shit. We came back home and just chilled. I don't even know that we did anything spectacular. We didn't make it to the gym. Oh, I ended up going on dinner and a couple drinks with Laren, and uh, that was it, you know? Which I told you guys about, that I was gonna probably have to do with Laren. Not have to, but of course that I was gonna do with Laren. So, um, anyway, so, yeah, we're at the gym now, so, doing an amazing workout. I'm hoping Juice can get on camera, so I can show you a little bit of it. I always pick different workouts when I'm trying to work different body parts when I get bored of the workouts I'm accustomed to doing. So I actually found this one on Instagram, so I'm trying it out to see how I do. Let me see how much time I have left. Not much. Not much. I only have like a minute 30 left. Anyway, let me make some room on this camera. I think. Maybe not. Oh, I deleted some shit, so I think I should be okay. Anyway, Juice is here too. He's around here somewhere. Today's leg day for me, and uh, turns out he may be doing a basketball tournament. And uh, so with him doing a possible basketball tournament, he has to get in basketball shape. Getting a lot of sprints. And this is good because we're getting more in here. He was motivated as hell to get in today because I guess this basketball camp is supposed to come any day now. This this league, not camp, but league, is supposed to happen any day now. So I'm really hoping that it really does happen and that they're not all just talking a bunch of shit because Ed is trying to get it all together. Because this would be great for Juice and I to also keep ourselves in here and to keep him motivated and on track so we can both be in this motherfucker here on time. Anyway, but he's getting himself in basketball shape to get ready for this league. This dude over here is probably looking at me like, what the fuck is she doing? Anyway, I'm gonna get to work. I will definitely have Juice shoot a little bit of what I'm doing. Definitely not for someone, well, a couple of the moves specifically, are definitely not for people who cannot do it. Even I uh, had to go on a lower weight. It's a, a walking lunge with a weight above your head. I would not advise anybody who does not work out on a continuous and has not been advised, uh, <laughs> who has not been advised uh, by a healthcare professional, they can do this work to do this work. You hear me? Don't hurt yourself, all right? And I had to go lower the weight than what she recommended, so anyway. All right, we have been here. Done. Say what up to Juice. What up? <laughs> he getting ready for that league, man. Not that NBA, but that nah, you never. ain't played basketball in years, league. Yeah, you never know. At, what? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Hey, the, I'm about to retire from this motherfucker. Hey, the NBA make him call him one day, man. Hey, man. He I gonna be, be ready. ready. Exactly. Be ready. <laughs> we gotta be ready. That was a great workout. Can you see my face? Oh, my God. Oh, I love when I find a great workout and I just took a picture of it and then just knock it out. And it was cool because it was fast, but it was intense. And those are the best leg workouts because I hate when I do leg workouts and I'm in here. Y'all know when I was training for the fitness better, competition. Better say some energy for Jessica tomorrow. Exactly. I work out with Jessica first thing in the morning. 
And uh, but I, I'm already telling her I'm gonna do upper half because I already did lower, and I'm trying to make sure I don't re-injure myself. So I'm trying to take it easy, stretch a lot. Because y'all saw that uh, your girl put that uh, plate over her head. Started off at 25. Technically, eventually, you're supposed to get to 45 above your head. But y'all know, still trying to make sure I don't hurt my upper half. So I started out with the 25 plate, 25 pound plate, and then I moved up to a 35 pound plate. So, yeah. In the food court. All right. Yeah, I need to go grocery shopping. And today I really didn't do much of anything but like house bills and just backroom work. When I say backroom work, whenever I say that, it means usually bills, like house bills. Um, emails I should have responded to that I haven't responded to yet. Um, stuff around the house, cleaning up stuff, organizational stuff, stuff like that. When I say that, backroom work, that's what I mean. So today was mainly that because I've done so much shooting. I was just like, okay, I'm done. The little boy is having a kind of way. Um, yeah, so I did that today. And um, now. And now. Um, what the hell was that supposed to say? I just lost it my train of thought. Anyway, um, got done with that, did all that, did some cleanup in the, in the uh, beauty room because I tried a different setup for my lighting um, and it worked out a lot better. Only problem is. I had an issue with my uh, my camera, the big camera that I tried to shoot with yesterday. So um, I've got to get the right stuff for it. I don't have the right stuff, software, everything. Like the cartridge I used is the cartridge I used in my original camera. So I had to reshoot videos yesterday that I had already shot on the bigger camera. And so anyway, I took a break from the shooting today. And I didn't even edit today, which is a first. Because I edited a vlog late last night. By the way, thank you guys for the compliments on the, uh, what is it called? The zucchini noodle recipe. It was fantabulous. I'm going to do way more of those. Um, I just haven't had the chance to go to the store to get some more zucchini. Um, so I can make more zucchini noodles, but I'm so going to do that. But anyway, let me go up in here because you're just going to come out before I even get in here. Because I think we're going to get something to eat at the food court since there's no food in the house right now. Food. So excited. Okay, so we got this chicken avocado stuff. And uh, I got, same thing as juice, but mine's without tomato and without um, red pepper. So that's really what it's supposed to look like right here with the salad. I got the yours. same thing with no red pepper, no tomato. Mm -hmm. And then I got it with tomato because I just wanted, I mean not tomato, oranges because I just wanted something refreshing to have with it. It's Besides good, yourself. Good. 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 And some water. How come you got me some red? How come you got me red peppers? You never complain about any vegetables, ever. And any, that's what you always get. I don't never eat red peppers. I know, but it's on there, you know that. It's automatically on there. And I, you ain't never seen you ask for it without it. Remember Hoodland, don't you? Mm, yeah, it's been a while. We ate, the, we ate the ice cream. Oh, yeah. And those nuts in this ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This is what those red peppers are. You see how he's imitating dirt? Yeah, this is, these red peppers are the same thing as those nuts. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne's ice cream. See if y'all remember that in the shit. movie Who. Don't do what so, he did. Shit. Yeah. To me. Yeah. Just let you know next yeah. time. I'll remember next time. Anyway, we finna eat. I'm starving. <laughs>